hook that looked like it was going to be a left uppercut, Beto, but he turned it over into a hook. The one thing I would show Triple G, and it's by the different, is parry shots. Catch and shoot. I don't see much difference in preparation here, but I do see Abel with the knockout. That's so, what Abel Sanchez told him. Knock him out. Don't give him too much respect. Yeah, that's what happened with the first fight. You got to allow Canelo to throw, catch and shoot. That'll take away from him. Because as long as you make it as a boxing match, Canelo has an opportunity. A huge opportunity. So the thing is here, if they exchange uppercuts, with Triple G's waiting, and Canelo's landing. Triple G waiting, Canelo landing. The voice of Kevin Kelly, here ringside in Las Vegas. Big overhand right for Canelo misses. Yeah, G's got to have a, a more step to the side, step left, step right. Um, it's turning into a fight. It really is turning into a fight. Both men are definitely punching with bad intentions. Abel Sanchez, Gennady's trainer, said, we don't want Canelo Alvarez to run, as he claimed that he did in the first fight. Canelo standing right there and throwing. And I wonder if that hook was to stun Triple G momentarily. Yeah, the key to this fight is Canelo's speed is definitely a problem for G. It's definitely a problem. Uh, it's making G a little bit miss some shots. A little apprehensive. Uh, he's not sticking to the jack. Strong right from Triple G. Hook from Canelo. But it didn't land, so he's not landing any shots. Well, the hook landed, the jab did it. He's got to step around a little bit. Canelo's doing a great fight, a very effective fight. Uh, both men are sent to the ring. And that's, that's what you want. You want these guys in the middle to go at it. But G's not going to the body. See, the head moves, the body don't. So both men should go to the body. But Alvarez is such a quick counter puncher, it's dangerous going to his body because you leave your head exposed. Not if you bend your knees. <laughs> if you bend your knees, you get down there. So don't reach down, bend down. You're seeing Gennady Golovkin can take deep breaths here and we're in the third round. Nice combo from Canelo Alvarez, followed by Stiff Jazz. And the jab from Canelo has been really strong early in the fight. And I see Triple G breathing a little bit, a little bit wild. Just working out, working out. Right? It's almost like he did not expect this from Canelo Alvarez, and he's feeling psychological stress. Hay que picarle abajo y arriba, que no sepa qué hora le vas a tirar el jab. Ok, y aquí, cerrado, cerrado. Golovkin lands a, a compact left hook that's almost like a power jab.